Some fly free. Got it. When I met sled. that man that Got told me lies and helped to induce my mental to induce my mental suicide Jazz because he just so don't let the sweet smell of contentment fool you. And I'm really not adding up to what people late. expect. You see, love what you about to say. Many forms and fashions. And the ice is flying down the spine like planting streams. Buffalo soldier, dreadlock rasta. Poetry was just something I did for myself at one point in time, but I saw it as, after a, a minute, I saw it as a way to feed my babies. I got seven. <laughs> and um, that's what I hope to do. I hope to open up an avenue to where my children can understand that they don't have to work for somebody else. You know, they can do for themselves. Southern trees bear strange fruits, blood on the leaves and blood at the root, black bodies swinging in the southern breeze, strange fruit hanging from the poplar trees. And the strangest of this fruit is us. And that blood has run straight from those roots into our hands. And the trees we hang from now no longer look like poplar, but look like benzes and platinum chains. Shiny, large, spinning rims and the newest version of Nike. And we're just swinging. Swinging on the majestic queens and kings that we came from, just swinging. Swinging on the blind and guttable slaves that we have become, but still we are swinging. Pastoral scenes of the gallant South, the bulging eyes and the twisted mouth, scent of magnolia, sweet and fresh, and the sudden smell of burning flesh. How much longer are we going to be duped by pictures that we look nothing like? that they lead us to believe are pretty, but in turn, we end up believing that we are not. We have to stop chasing the charade of a dream. We are more than just the newest dance, worth much more than the most expensive clothes you can flaunt. We are beautiful, just the way God intended us to be. We are intelligent souls and brilliant spirits, complicated and amazing minds, respectable, proud beings, and that is the prettiest picture that God ever painted. Don't let the sweet smell of contentment fool you. You are not lazy. You are not shiftless. You are not unable to learn. You are not destruction. How sweet is that smell of fake gangsters claiming all other colors but then the one that their skin will never let them forget? Dying in the same streets that they fight for even though those same streets will never just belong to them. Does that smell good to you? Then open your eyes and smell it again. How sweet is that smell of a man, or should I say a boy, telling you he loves you, then throws a couple of dollars at you, calls you something other than what your mother named you. And then he brags about how good he was at deceiving you. And then he moves on to the next, and the next, and the next, and the next, and then you? Well, then you get left with the hurt and the baby you're not ready to raise. And even worse, laid up in a bed fighting the disease that not even medicine can help. <laughs> You don't even know what his last name is. Does that smell good to you? Then open your eyes and smell it again. It smells like charred flesh to me. Here is a fruit for the crows to pluck, for the rain to gather, for the wind to suck, for the sun to rot. For the trees to drop. How short is your rope? How tight is your noose? Here is a strange and bitter crown. And the strangest of this fruit is us. How strange indeed.
But um, the first time I heard the song, my father let me hear it when I was about nine years old. And even then I understood what Miss Holiday was saying in that song and the reason why she chose to sing it. And um, so now every time I hear that song, which is one of my favorites, every time I hear that song, I see something different. 